Let's go to that email that was forwarded to Dr. Ernest Hilaire while she was there. And Linda, and that is from the protocol department from the FCO. Further to your telephone conversation with my colleague Alexander Cook, I understand that there has been a misunderstanding concerning the marital status of Mr. Tafawa Robert Williams. In order for me to amend the record in our database, I should be grateful if you would please resubmit an amended change of circumstances, TX9 form, together with a photocopy of the vignette from Mrs. Williams' passport. There was some little thing there. I will not get into that detail, but there was a little thing there where she was not accredited or listed properly. I also understand that there was a misunderstanding regarding the application for a new duty-free vehicle and that the vehicle is an official embassy fleet vehicle, an official St. Lucia High Commission fleet vehicle, rather than a new duty-free vehicle purchased for Mr. Williams. Peace your heart, attempt file. Eh, no, 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 no. A mistake, no fair. C'est pas tête pour ta fawa. Let's go to the next page of that email that was forwarded. Now listen to what he says. I shall be happy to process a new TX26 for the official embassy vehicle. Please do therefore arrange for a new TX26 to be submitted to me directly to avoid any confusion. So we don't get confused that it's in the name of Tafawa, that it's in the name of Vern Augustine, that it's in the name of Albert Fredges, that it's in the name of Norbert Williams, that it's in the name of Alan Chastney, that it's in the name of Alva Baptist. To avoid any confusion, as you had before, you said you, you submitted it wrong. To avoid it, I am telling you where to put the right name that you said you were going to put it in. To avoid any confusion, please put High Commission of St. Lucia in the box marked purchaser's name. And in the purchaser's address in the UK, put the mission's address. That is because they were informed that the purchase would be for the High Commission and not for Tafawa Williams or not in anybody else's name. So they, they spelling it out for them without any ambiguity. Put the name of the purchaser in the name. Put the address there. Put this there. Who then authorized? Who signed? That's what I want to know. That's what the people of St. Lucia need to know. Who signed for that Range Rover vehicle to be exported from the UK, from the St. Lucia, from ownership of the St. Lucia High Commission, put it in a container and ship it to St. Lucia. Who authorized that? Easy. Just tell us. Philip J. Pierre, are you satisfied with how you have responded to the questions of the people of St. Lucia?